Hey Dan here guys, uh, brewing a Berliner Weiss today. Uh, Berliner Weiss is a German style of beer, it's like half Pilsner, half wheat, uh, 3%. It's uh, soured, soured with lactobacillus. I also might put some bread in there, some Britannomyces maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's about halfway through my, my mash, I'm going to give it a stir, so if I can get efficiency out of it maybe giving it a stir halfway through is supposed to supposed to help with your efficiency now I already I had like seven pounds of grain this is only a four gallon batch and my pre-boiled gravity is going to be around 1045 1049 which is really high uh, the idea comes from uh, the Mad Fermentationist blog where they actually do a no boil. Uh, they bring it up to a boil maybe for five minutes and then cut it and that's it. Um, on his side he did a decoction where he uh, did a single decoction and boiled some hops in the decoction. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm probably going to do a first wart hop. I was thinking about doing no hops actually. Um, a lot of the sour makers are now not even putting any hops in because the beta acids from the hops uh, don't uh, don't let the lactobacillus bacteria propagate as well as it should. And <coughs> so um, I'm probably going to put at least a little bit of hops in there to make it a beer because uh, without hops, it's not a beer and it's not Reinheitsgebot, which is a you know should be respected when you're doing a German style of beer, I think. Um, so, I'm going to let this sit for another half hour. Alright, I just collected my first runnings and my sparge water, getting ready to, to boil it up. Uh, in honor of the Rhine Heights Kaboat, there is our hop addition. Alright, I've been boiling for about one minute, maybe 30 seconds. Uh, I think it's time to uh, call it a day. More chiller. Uh, off and closed. That's it for the boil. So I'm pitching one vial of lactobacillus del Bruchi White Labs P677 and uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a week in the wart uh, at room temperatures in my shed or uh, not room temperatures but nature temperatures in Vegas it's going it's uh, in Vegas it's fluctuating between about 80 and 100 degrees it's probably about 85 degrees out today it's pretty nice but uh, now I'm gonna let uh, mother nature take over the lactobacillus let it uh, let it do its thing get nice and sour um, on the mad fermentation as he puts his lactobacillus in with the yeast I'm going to do lactobacillus for one week at you know whatever temperature, 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And a week later, then I'm going to pitch the yeast. I'm going to bring the wort down to 68 degrees and then pitch the yeast. So uh, we'll see how sour it gets. That's the goal. So I wasn't going to show this, but the lactobacillus is uh, just about 24 hours after pitching the lactobacillus. No yeast in there. And you can see it's got a big frothy head on there. quite a bit of carbon dioxide coming out so the lactobacillus is really really going at it it's probably about 9500 degrees in here uh, during the day not really sure what temperature is it it is at night um, I'm gonna guess probably 80 degrees not sure what the temperature shift is gonna do to, to the lactobacillus either this seems to be having a really healthy fermentation so it's been a week and I got the fermenter now in my temperature controlled fridge. I'm gonna bring it down to about 68, stabilize it there. And then pitch the US05. Uh, the activity after a week is pretty much gone, although <coughs> there's a lot more foam 
after I uh, disturbed the the beer. Uh, doesn't smell as bad. It smelled like rotten cabbage for a while. It's starting to smell a little better now. Okay, so I'm uh, just rehydrating the SO5. The SO5 in like a teaspoon of GoFirm. Uh, it's a yeast nutrient for rehydrating the yeast. Um, the uh, beer is really, well, it's probably acidic. There's uh, a lot of CO2 in there. It's a harsh environment for the yeast. So I want it to be as strong as possible. Hopefully this go firm will keep the yeast as strong as possible so it can ferment out the rest of the, of the beer. All right, I'm going to push pitch this and then uh, let it go for about um, three or four weeks and then bottle it and uh, we'll see how it is. Cheers, guys.